From silver screen slapstick to award-winning stage performances, Leander Reddy has the kind of talent that just refuses to be typecast. Michelle went to find out more about the personality that propels many different characters. When stage and screen celebrity Leander Reddy suggested to Michelle that they meet at a trendy Midrand restaurant, he didn't expect to find her hard at work in the kitchen, assisting the chef. Hey, Michelle! Hello. Welcome to table 29. Thank you so much, I love it. I'm loving the theme, polka dots, polka dots. I think this is amazing, the sync that we have. How did we get this right? Now from actress to businesswoman, what inspired you to get involved in the restaurant industry? It's all about the food, man. The food has been pivotal in my life since as far back as I can remember. We've always loved food. My family is all about feasting and getting together and food is usually the central point of every get together. And I think with the restaurant, what we always wanted to do was have a, a, a not just to have a good meal, but to have an experience, a total experience. And, you know, for it to be social and fun and memorable. And so that people could leave here, not only enjoying a good meal, but also having a great memory to take home with them. As an actress, you get to plan and prep and create this massive backstory for your characters. How did you prepare to be a businesswoman? The business side of me has always been there. Uh, I do have a production company as well. As an artist, you know, you have to you have to have business interests because you are responsible for your own career. You can't leave it up to someone else, otherwise it's gonna have a very short life. So you always have to think with a business mind. But enough about business and all of that. Let's have a meal. I want you to taste what we have at table 29. Are you keen? That's why I'm here. Yeah, oh, <laughs> Let's go. With the chef having assured Leander that everything was under control in the kitchen, she could settle back for a chat. You've got such a great energy about you. What were you like growing up? Oh, thank you. Well, uh, if, if you think my energy is great now, then I must have had a sugar rush as a child because I was always the performer. Any excuse to perform or do something stupid or silly and just to make everything, everyone laugh. You've carved out an amazing career for yourself. Where did it all start though? I studied at the University of Natal and I studied drama and I went on to do my honours in drama. So I was very fortunate because when I left university, you know how terrifying it can be as, um, as an artist in the big wide world, but I was very fortunate because I got quite a few theatre jobs and I love theatre, that's my background, that's where I started. So I got to perform in great venues at the Playhouse and the Snedden Theatre and yeah, that was my start actually. And then my first uh, foray into television was a presenting program, huh? It was kind of fun and vibey and pacey and you know, chatting to camera and check this and go here and go there. So. I really enjoy that. And then I got into serious television acting. While we're talking honestly tonight, we might as well be truthful about everything. You're right. No. I, I, I want to be honest with you. It's really... It's... Don't touch me. Just and... Stop. Stop talking. I need to go. No. I need to go. No, wait. Let's, let's talk about this, Priya. Let's just don't go right now. now. I just can't, I can't okay, even think. But... Just let me go. You played a no-nonsense character on Issa Dingo. Any similarities that you share with your character? No, our personalities are so different because you know Priya was a very tough cop and had to be kind of firm and strong and and as a woman as well, she was very liberated and firm and strong and resolute. But as an actor, if you play a role believably, credibly, there is a part of you that comes out in it, whether it's conscious or not. Mmm, I smell food. <laughs> oh wow. Look at that. Thai mussels, huh? Thai mussels and... Beef rum. Michelle, this Thai sauce in this mussel dish is mine. You have to taste it. I shall indeed. Let me dip. Okay. <laughs> good. Mm. Good, huh? Mm, very good. How do you balance being a businesswoman as well as an actress? Where do you draw a line? You have to make a conscious decision to actually say, right, I'm dedicating this amount of time to that and this amount of time to the restaurant and then family, of course, is, you know, top priority as well, so yeah. You're also a mom. Now how does that fit into the bigger picture of things? I always say it's a work in progress. I don't know if I have it 100% right. I do the best I can with my kids. I try to give them everything I can and I know that it's critical to give love and attention and you can't, as much as your career is important, you can't let it consume you because 
you have a family by choice and you need to give them love and attention. So I always make sure that I give them enough time and I show them enough love. Um, and there are times when I'm working away from home or long nights. But hey, that's, you know, it's part of being a working mum. Let's enjoy our meal and then afterwards I'm going to take you a bit out of your comfort zone. Oh, oh. Mm, I'm all about the mystery. Ah, uh, mm. sounds like fun. I just smile on your face. Well, wait okay, and see. I'm ready. Mm -mm -mm. Michelle had come up with a challenge to test Leander's willingness to defy gravity and surrender to fun. Whoa. Hello, look how cool this place is. Where are we going? Here we go, yeah. What? Chicken hunt. How cool is that? It's bound. Well, hang on. This is like, what? Trampoline and kids. It's trampoline heaven. No, but look at that. I can't do that. <laughs> yes, you can. Look how no, much fun they're having. No, I come, come, come. So cool, right? Hi, Justin. Hi, guys. How you guys doing? Good, good, Hi. good. This is Welcome to bands. This is so colorful. You've never experienced anything like it in your life. We've taken normal trampolining and turned it into very, very fun games. We have the basketball, we have the dodgeball, we have a big bag that you can just jump into. It's like a cloud, so it's very, very cool. This is your rite of passage to the free jumping revolution. These are your band socks. I love socks. Pretty cool socks as well. Very nice. Thank you, Yeah, we deserve this, right? Absolutely. You know what? And it actually makes me feel like a kid again, <laughs> completely. You're already so busy, but what's next in the pipeline? Um, gonna carry on with the restaurant and more acting on screen. But I also have a movie coming out next year that I'm busy co-writing and co-producing. It's gonna be a comedy, look out for that. Lee, continued success to you. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, thanks, Michelle. I had such a great time, such fun. Let's do it again. Absolutely. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.